We. What do I mean when I say the worst place to find your energy trapped is the crown chakra? <sighs> so, I guess it would be important to start with a reality hack. I'm a human being. I make choices. What I love or what I focus on is what I love. Where I put my energy is what uh, is basically feeding me. Where I put my time is where I put my focus. And the only thing that we really have to cling to sometimes is time. Is the cosmic clock however you want to perceive it? I'm a human. I make decisions based on what I love, where I put my energy and what I focus on. I think there's one more but I can't remember what it is. Which is not <laughs> very helpful. So I'm moving I'm moving through time and space. Of course I am. Take away my my spirit. Take away my soul. Take away my mind. Take away my brain. I'm just a body. I'm a body. Chinese philosophy of medicine tells me that this is a very, very, very complex being. Energy is more than just the food we eat. It becomes integrated into this complex system, this sensitive system, makes up blood, makes up electricity in our nerves, it makes up the fluid that well, sustains us. And then we have our organ systems. The one and only brain <laughs> or cranium we have a esophagus, we have lungs, we have kidneys, we have liver, we have pancreas, whatever that is, we have large intestine, small intestine, we have ovaries, we have uh, all the kind of beautiful stuff in that location, but we have muscles, we have bones, we have nerves, we have loads of tissue membranes that no one ever talks about, hype up for them, and we have the skin. And then we have eyeballs and all that, ocular joy, tongue, teeth, the only bone that we get to touch. Um, yeah, and they're all alive. And sometimes we let our brain dictate how we teach, we, we, we reach and interact with those things, but Christ, and very neglectful idiots like us want to abuse it all. And you abuse one, and they all want to abuse each other. So, <sighs> what am I trying to say? Something about Chinese medicine. Oh, yeah, holy moly, there's some hacks to. There's some hacks to kick-starting these systems and teaching them that they're naughty and you can carry on being naughty if you know these hacks. Some are from uh, like Middle Eastern tradition as well. A lot to do with just beating yourself up, and slapping yourself, cold water, but fresh air and exercise, like you already know, is so fucking fundamental when it comes to this bitch of a mind feeding you negativity.
So the crown chakra. This comes into some into some uh kind of religious beliefs <sighs> because when you're focused on uh, a career um, that is creative we need to know it we need to know uh, we need to know ourselves we need to know ourselves because we are the tool and if we get a high from making something that sends people on a trip you have to kind of display the trip and that's really the hardest thing to continue doing and doing and doing without dying because as you go deeper into yourself without uh, I want to say with, without without like a strong well uh, uh, many anchors some people need many anchors I need many anchors <sighs> what am I trying to describe I'm trying to describe this creative force within us um, I heard somewhere that you almost have to befriend it so it is like talking to yourself you do have to understand that that's okay and I started working in in two normal career in two normal places like the the restaurant and the fish and chip shop and I was just blatantly talking to myself and then everyone starts saying hey talking to yourself is great and it's like okay well then sh just get on with it because I really have to this isn't a joke otherwise destructive things do happen because this de this whatever you want to call it it's not a demon it's it's a demon to some people because they don't understand this creative force wants to create it's not all about wanting to paint by numbers this creative force if i'm not in a place where i'm happy this creative force is going to create a situation for me to have a reason to escape it's not about being an artist. It's not about being uh, a magic person that, that conjures up stories of a beautiful woodland. This is a creative force that is doesn't have it doesn't have a rule book. It's it's here to drive you forward or to the grave. So if you have people around you that understand that and say my friend you're in a position where you have tamed your creative force once before to demonstrate something in reality that other people find fantastic you are renowned for a reason you have notoriety for a reason but the minute you start allowing that to destroy you because you think it's going to be something you can just repeat that's where you need help because artists change, life changes. The situation that made you perform this piece of art or this expression of your emotion in a situation the first time, it is not gonna happen again. It's never gonna be the same. You went through a, a, a deepening of your consciousness. You experienced love at an unparalleled level you had access to the right kind of drugs that sent you to a place that you found sublime and you were able to express some kind of artistry at the right moment you were able to display it to friends that made you feel higher than ever why can't I do that again? it's because you're a different person in a different time and life isn't happening the same why, why, is, my, why is my creative force wanting, me to, wanting to kill me? instead of wanting me to paint that's because you're 26 now you're still living with your parents and you don't want to work in a fish and chip shop that's why it's saying go kill yourself that's why it's saying everybody wants to fuck you in the arse 
because you don't like these people and you can't pretend to like these people not with this amount of creative force behind you this creative force wants to wants to orchestrate some kind of unbelievable fashion show it wants to it wants to stop it wants to stop environmental destruction it doesn't want to fry food so in order to get around this you have to exercise your body you have to exercise that the same as the film the fucking exorcist that's how i imagine it sometimes if i don't want to do something I know that she's going to be there. She's going to be there haunting me. If I don't speak to her nicely. If I don't, if I don't, well, I don't really like speaking to her, you see. So I prefer to run three hours. Just get the fucking thing out. Sweat. Fucking cold shower. And then I slap myself. Because that's what Chinese medicine taught me to do. Sometimes in the face. And good food, really good food. You get that exercise in, you work up a fucking good appetite and you think, yeah, I deserve this, I deserve this. And because we're women, we need meat, we need meat. We can't pretend that we're vegetarians anymore. It's not just because it's trendy. I'm sorry, but I starved for years and I listened to that creative force saying, none of it's hot, survival is hot, comfort is hot, and sweating is hot. Mm-hmm.